Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you all about our newly relaunched Patreon page and all of the exclusive rewards that you can get by signing up. We've relaunched the TBG Live channel that you're watching right now where we upload our full Twitch replays and we've also made the decision to completely remove all mid-video ads from this channel for future videos. As well as that, I'm also gonna be adding timestamps into the description, which is gonna allow you to quickly skip to the start of matches if you want to skip the fluff. If you wanna help support this channel, then Patreon is a great way to do that and you'll get early access to watch these videos as well as a ton of other great perks. You can view all of the info over on patreon.com slash thebeardguys and from the price of just one Twitch sub, you can help support the channel and get yourself some great rewards. Thanks very much for listening. I'll leave you to enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Sunlight Riot, thanks so much for the three month resub. First sub of the day, you absolute bloody legend. Thank you, Riot. Good morning. Good morning. PUBG is one game I've stuck with since it was in preview. Hey, Friday. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's always fun to go back to. It's just, unfortunately, I mean, it's an old game, so matchmaking is always going to become an issue, but um, it could have done with a few more things along the way to help keep interest up. Sadly, there's not been that much, like, great stuff kind of come out since free to play to help keep that interest up. The updates are coming out quite regularly, but it's just not been the right things released, I think, to really keep that momentum going, unfortunately. But, um, you know, it's still fun to play. It's just a shame the, uh, the matchmaking's so slow. That was a great pan fight with Tech the other day. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, had a crack in the pan finish. He was on 19 kills as well. That would have been a 20 kill dub for him, which he does a lot, in fairness. And it's not If that had been a 20 kill win for me, that would have been my, like second one ever whereas he probably does like you know five or five or ten of those a week but um yeah he was on 19 kills we had a pan fight at the end and i won and killed him with i had like seven kills i spent most of the game flying around in a glider uh hey Rydis, how you doing you've been stuck on PUBG since season 15 can't get enough at the moment nice great to hear hey matt how you doing i have moves hello again hello 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 One man, do 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 do. I said one man is landing at ruins. <laughs> oh, oh my god. He was like walking that way and then just completely turned around and he threw me off. Oh, Jot. Jesus. Just fucking walked into each other. Anyway, we're alive. That's what matters. Uh, cool. Give me an ace. Oh, there's a big parachute bag. That could be useful. I don't know where the play zone is. We're kind of just on the edge of it. Okay, I'm alive. I'm alive. Some sort of gun skins you get for getting kills or headshots over time. A little bit of incentives. Yeah, it absolutely needs incentives there's no like interesting incentives in my opinion to really like play the game outside of the fun of playing the game which is obviously you know a a, a worthwhile thing but um you know games the most successful games that stay around for a long time are ones that also have lots of like interesting progression stuff that you work towards like long term and PUBG just doesn't have any of that and i don't know why it seems absolutely mad they've never really gone down that road of putting in interesting long-term progression but they've just not done it and uh i think the game is the game and us as players are poorer for it Boop. um cool all right this is a nice little load the both of these need leveling up don't they the ace and the mk um, how many kills are we on the old battle stat on my fancy gun? 55. Very nice. Give it a little spin, maybe. whoop Um, that's probably a bit too much meds. That's fine. Let's take a frag. A bit more sevens is good. Okay, we just want, like, a grip. For, um, you. That'll do. What else? Extended on the, the MK jobby thing. 
Beautiful. Well, that'd do. A couple of boosties, and I think we're um pretty happy. Nice. Didn't even see that. Just saw it pop up in my, my little highlighty bit. Um, yeah, pretty happy for ammo. Don't need a cheat pad. Cool. All right. We're a bit low on boost, but if we just skim around the edge here, oh, we got banners actually. We'll just skim the edge for boost, and then we'll uh, we'll move further in. I get lucky and find like a three vest or something. Oh, it's a car there. Nice. Uh, they've added a timer for an for grenades. What more could you want? Oh, they're pretty annoying. Oh, there's two emergency pickups here. I mean, should we just... Let's just chuck one down. We'll fly into the zone. It's a shame we haven't found a bike. I want to get a bike and do something like a, a crazy bicycle jump off um off the mountain. Would be nice. Oh, that's the airdrop. We might be able to land... We might be able to push the airdrop with this. No, don't do that, mate. Where's my plane? There's my plane. This could work. Uh, did I watch the wacky new race he did the other day? No, I didn't see it. I saw he was doing one, uh, but I didn't see it. Hey, Boudre, how you doing? Timer, yeah. So in the update that's going live for console next Thursday, they are, there's a, one of the parts of that update is like a timer that shows the cooking time on frag grenades and stuns. So when you pull the pin on it, you can see exactly when it's going to explode, which I'm not a fan of at all. I think that's a nice skill you can learn is get used to the timing. So yeah, not, not massively happy about that. Hey, uh, Sire, how you doing? Possum, how's it going out? I'm H fan, how you doing? You're watching Nacho's channel, nearly missed mine. I can't believe it. Absolute traitor. <laughs> I'm not going to land on the crate because it will probably get me killed. There's a man. Get down and get ready to shoot him. There he is. I think he's seen me. He has not seen me. Even now, in his own death, he has not seen me. Anyone else? And he was so happy. Just found his... I'm going to leave the orb because I've already leveled it and, you know, whatever, right? Um, Hello, someone trying to VSS me. Hello, friend, what? Bridge, maybe? Nope. Mountain, maybe? That's going to be OP. I just think it's a bit... I just, yeah, I don't like it. it. It just takes away from a skill. Oh, hello, was it you? A skill that we've all learned, you know. You know, don't need a timer, do we? Don't need a timer. But with a timer, I would have been able to throw that even more accurately. Which is silly. Don't need it, PUBG. Don't bloody need it. You didn't have a VSS, did you? No, it wasn't even him shooting at me. Um, I don't know why I've got two tax stocks. You never know. <laughs> God, he had a lot of frags, that guy. You should have been throwing them at me, mate. All right, cool. That helmet skin is sweet. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Especially with the white beard sticking out the bottom. Kind of loitering here, see if anyone else is lured over by the crate. To be fair, after three years, I'm still shit at cooking grenades. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. We're only human, aren't we? Are we human or are we robots? I don't know where VSS man was shooting me from, but he hasn't emerged. I'm guessing he was up the up the mountain or something. 
What headphones do I use? I use Astro A50 headset. Let's hear a guy. No. My dog having a good old waff waff downstairs. Having the time of his life. Um, Alright, let's go for a wander. Try and find more people. Hey, Notronomus, how you doing? I didn't realise you would switch over to Twitch. Here I am wondering why the gameplay I'm watching seems so familiar. Uh, yes, I am now... I am now on Twitch. I was on YouTube earlier, but now we're on Twitch. It's kind of a weird update because people keep asking me if I'm looking forward to it and then I struggle to remember what's in it. Um, like, there's loads of stuff in it, but it's all really... It's all really small stuff. So it's kind of a weird one. There's lots, but it's all little bitty things. Like, um... Like the grenade timer. Like, um... The medding whilst driving. You'll be able to med in the driver's seat rather than having to go to passenger seat. Like um, a tiny a damage buff to the Mini. A tiny recoil buff to the MK12. Just little bits and bobs, you know. But nothing, nothing groundbreaking. <clears throat> I enjoyed your little Twitter rant. On the YouTube video. Oh, it's just... Twitter is just bollocks, isn't it? I don't use it very much. Frame rate or resolution priority? I run um, frame rate priority on the Xbox Series X. Does the job for me. All right, what are we on? Three kills. I think we should win this game. I think this would be a, this would be a good one to win, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Just got to find some more people to shoot. Very quiet. Oh yeah, there's going to be big ducks in the river when we get the update. Big ducks in... Um... This guy might look in the crate, see if we can get back and get an angle on that. I'm not sure you can I think he just drove straight past it, actually. I'm just going to see where this zone goes, and then we'll decide whether we're going to um, cross or not. Because the bridge is pretty close by, obviously. Uh, hey, Hollywood, how you doing? Great to see you, mate. How you been? Okay, we're going to stay here. Stay on this side. This is the big side. Yeah, there's uh, so in the update that's going out next Thursday, there's gonna be giant inflatable ducks in the water here. For because there's a tie-in with B duck or something. I can't remember what it was. It's I think it's some Korean thing, a a big a big yellow duck that's um big in Korea. So there's some kind of brand deal going on. So there'll be a big duck or multiple big ducks. Um, you know, so that's great. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Are they explosive? I don't think they are explosive. I think they're just standard non-explosive yellow rubber ducks. Sadly. My least favourite kind. Oh, that's the parachute one. There's also coming up, there's a, uh, you know, it's not just, it's not just tie-ins with Asian brands. Do not fear. There's also a tie-in coming up with um, Hot Pockets. Oh, there's the man. So if you ever were a little bit upset that, you know, if you felt you didn't have enough Hot Pocket, you know, themed clothing in PUBG, then, um, you know, fear not. Soon, you'll be able to have your own Hot Pocket clothing. Someone shot at him from up here, and there was another guy that parachuted down pretty much where he was driving. I 
Where are you? Oh, if he's lying up there, it's very hard to see in this horrible grass shit. He was close, though. The other guy parachuted, like, down here somewhere. It's kind of close. I'm going to get this guy, but he's going to be on this ridge, and if we get downhill from him, it's going to be quite nasty. I, I feel like he's proning over there. I think I'm going to go and have a look anyway. Gonna watch you on the TV, tell my kid it's me playing, and then walk away and leave him with the controller. He's three. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> that was pretty random. There was another guy who started shooting, and then this guy was just fucking right there. This Vecchi guy. Did he kill the other guy? He must have done. That crate was a little bit closer than I anticipated. That guy walked right after. Thankfully, he just kept firing his gun while I was in cover. <laughs> so he ran out of bullets. Oh, that's close. Okay, that crate is pretty hot. That's hot property. I mean, I'm definitely still going to look at it. But... God, how do we get away with this one? He just strolled right up, didn't he? He didn't give a shit. Did not give it a toss. Growler, how you doing? Jason, thanks so much for the prime, you bloody ledge. Cheers, mate. Oh, this, there's a... Oh, no, it was a... I thought it was a bicycle, but it was a motorbike. Thank you. Sorry, MK12. Oh... Thank you. Double cheek pad. You never know. Okay. Well, we're somehow still alive. Where is this guy? He's not far away. Just on that ridge somewhere. Pretty lively up here, wasn't it? Pretty busy. Cheeky little AWM. Pretty happy about that. Hey, Muffin Man. How you doing? Uh, Mickey's live. How's it going? See you in a bit, Matt. Take it easy, buddy. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. We can have to cross? No. In fact, we can pretty brutally um, gatekeep people out here. People are gonna be, gonna be. Sp the fuck was that? It's just down here. Where did he end up? Friend. Oh, I hate this ridge so much. Found him. Not many left. Anyone coming over here? Oh, that's not good. Thankfully, you got plenty of meds. Kind of surprised we didn't see more people getting pushed over there. Ah, uh, we don't need anything here, do we really? I'll take some ammo, actually. Oh, and the pan. Got to have a pan. Zone's not too bad. 
Circle's close quick. I forget what the, how short the gap is on Sanok on these. I thought there'd be someone sneaking out of the water, but... Doesn't seem to be. There's probably someone up the top there. They're going to have a rough time. I guess the good thing now is if you get stuck up there, but you've managed to... You can at least find the old... Um, bicycle. Oh my god, I shot that guy so much. Jesus. He is low. That's unlucky. What's up, Raymond? How you doing? Pretty unlucky. Uh, hey, JTR, how you doing today? Great to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I haven't had a game finish up on um, on the side of the mountain yet since they brought back OG Sanok. I'm kind of looking forward to that. They're always quite silly. Like, if you get stuck at the top or at the bottom. Had many of those back in the day. Fine, thanks. Any chicken dinners? No chicken dinners yet today. But we've had a lot of fun. It's been grand. I'm really looking forward to this. They're doing um, an F1 manager game that's coming out later this year. F1 manager 2022. Like football manager, but for Formula One. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to giving that a go. You'll land a turkey. You did, I did have two wins in a row on Monday at the end of the stream. Just logged on to PUBG PC. 27 gig download. Yeah, that is an unfortunate thing. They do updates are quite regular on PUBG, so there's often this matchmaker is dog shit. What is going on? Just roll with it. There's um Yeah, often uh a download to do if you haven't played for a little while on PC or console. That game is right up my alley. What's up, Ross? How you doing? Yeah, sounds fun, right? Solo matchmaking on console at the moment EU is just getting so bad. You just have the same people like people in your game every game and it takes ages to get in a lobby. Hey pessimist, how you doing, mate? Good to see you, friend. So I did a little YouTube stream before the stream today, if you managed to catch that. If you didn't, you can go back and watch it, at, you know, another time. It's on our YouTube channel. If you go to our YouTube homepage, there's a playlist of those streams you can go and watch. Did a couple of uh, cheeky Larry games there earlier. Were very enjoyable. As you can tell from my times, the driving isn't so much my skill. I haven't had a go on uh, Barcelona yet. I'll have to try and get a time in over the weekend or something. Not really played F1 for a bit. I played like three days ago. Well, there was literally an update today, so... That's not going to help you, unfortunately. <laughs> hey, Smurny, how's it going? Still recovering from COVID, but otherwise am okay. Nice. Oh, I'm glad you're getting there. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty pretty okay from covid now it did it hasn't had any like lasting effects that i noticed it was what probably a couple of weeks ago that i properly had it i've been out running now a few times and getting back into running and that's been okay and hey lynch how you doing barracuda how you doing boom, 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 boom. Uh, this is one man squads we haven't done that for ages i'm probably gonna do terribly but i'll just like the matchmaker on solos is Dude, my nut in. What should we do on one-man squads? We should have brought a squad of Larry's, really. But, you know, we'll be fine. We'll just have a bit of fun. Maybe it'll hone my skills and I'll become some sort of lethal killing machine. Like lethal bizzle. Or lethal weapon. Those are the only two lethals I know.
Probably just going to be loads of other one-man squads <laughs> jump into school. <laughs> I doubt any proper squads will go there. I don't know. See what happens. S a squad of level ones, please. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Imagine, just get a whole server for the level ones. Just as a little, a little treat. Lethal attraction. My 14-year-old shat on the carpet mat this morning. Poor dog. I'm glad that said dog at the end. There's a man. Oh, there's a man there as well. And the man there. Okay, uh, squad. Oh, that's not an Uzi. I thought it was an Uzi. Man underneath me. That's got a gun already. Let's go and get this guy. Oh, how's he not go down? I hit so many times. Oh, God's sake. If he just landed on like a nice full auto gun on that roof, would have been slaying. Dude was tanking the pistol hits. Shoot him in the face. Pretty unlucky. Hey, Tinky, how you doing? We did 93 damage to that dude. Oh, Jesus. Well, at least the queue's quicker on one man's. 22 seconds. We're going to play one man's. Shoot him in the face. Well, I mean, we should have hit him in the face. I'm it, with pistols. I'm happy enough just uh, just hitting the target. To be honest, so I was standing right up in his grill. I thought we'd get him. Normally, a couple of bullets. You know, you're lucky. You'll get one into the head, and he'll go down. You okay, Waddy, mate? Did you slip on your keyboard a little bit? Hey, Nagleton, how you doing? Needs to land on a nice shotty. Oh. The dream. I mean, Uzi's the dream. Shotty's nice. The problem with Uzi for one man squad hot drops, though, is you're going to run out of ammo so fast. Shotguns, you don't need much. You, can, you know, you can get eight ammo on a shotgun and take a squad if you do well. I was freaking out just watching it. It was quite stressful. Costume? You okay, mate? You could probably get rid of that command that's promoting the 17.1 review because that's not even the most recent patch. Gesundheit. Oh, announcement from PUBG. An issue has been identified regarding the lack of healing items on Erangor and Miramar. The dev team is working on a fix. Are there more commands like watch time? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I only turned that one on because pe some people kept trying to do it and I didn't have it enabled. Probably not. Cheers, Smirk. You're smirky. How's everyone's week going? We good? We hanging in there halfway through again? Can't be too bad. Going to be doing some Patreon squads on Friday, by the way, if anyone wants to come and play uh, some games with me in squads. 
Come along on Friday. Get signed up on Patreon if you're not already, and we'll um, we'll have a bit of fun. Don't know if this is a squad or a, a mix. That guy looks like a dressed like a noob, but you never know. Come on. No one on the roof. That's warehouses. Hey, buddy. Two dead. Okay. Well, that might have been his teammate. No idea. Keep chipping away. Hey Kira, how you doing? I nice see you, Brian. How's it going? Welcome back. Um, what do you got, boys? Sure, the AK Uzi. I mean, it'll do for now. We can upgrade if we uh make it out of here. I think EMT is probably pushing it for one man squads, but <laughs> we'll see. You don't have watch time. Apparently not. Hello. Sorry, mate. I was too busy reading chat. Just at least two. Is there a sneaky way up? Oh, I nearly got away with it. That fact is in 24 hours a day, I'm assuming. I've no idea how the watch time thing works. I don't know what it means, really. I don't know when that's tracking from. I don't know if it's when I enabled it or, like, since we had the bot or whatever. I don't know. How you doing, Kira? How's things? Twitch Turbo. Look at that. You got the right idea. Why bother subbing 21 when well, you can use Twitch Turbo and get rid of ads on every channel? <laughs> the Twitch business model is so fucking stupid, I swear. Like, Turbo's definitely the best thing that Twitch offers for any money. <laughs> How much is Turbo? Like, the price of, like, two subs? One and a half subs? Five weeks seems low. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That was a bit of a quick one for solos.
just mad. So on YouTube, they're trialing, um, well, not trialing, but in, in beta, as the Americans like me to say, um, gifted memberships, which is like the equivalent of subbing on, um, on YouTube. They're uh, trialing, or they, yeah, they're trying out gifted, gifted memberships. So we hopefully should have that on our YouTube channel fairly soon, um, which would be great. And then we can just, um, we can just sack Twitch off, <laughs> which would be, uh, which would be nice. Hey, Kilwalski, how you doing? All good. Hubby has COVID, dealing with that. You've managed to not catch it yet, then, I hope. Yeah, we had COVID a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't too bad, though. Over it now. It's so nice being able to stream at, like, a good bit rate on YouTube. It's beautiful. The quality looks so much better. So nice. Back on solos now. Just had Miramar and Tago like all day today. Lots of Miri and lots of Tago. Hey Wit, how you doing? Hoopa. Shocking to me that Amazon won't open up more cloud servers to allow a higher bitrate. It's mad, isn't it? It's capped to 8k for partners, 6k for non-partners. On YouTube, you can stream at 54k bitrate. 54k. You could actually stream in like you know, nice quality 1440p, even 4K really with that, right? And on Twitch, you can't even make 1080p look good. Hey, Carly, how you doing? Thank you for the 42 months. Cheers, third sub and resub of the day. Thank you for your support, Carly. You bloody ledge. Hoots, how you doing? Ready to boogie. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Feeling quite lively. It's been nice getting back out running again. I'm feeling a bit fitter. I don't like sitting around not not doing stuff. Hey, Swoop, how you doing? They, uh, PUBG just tweeted saying uh, an issue has been identified regarding the lack of healing items on Erangel and Miramar and the dev team's working on a fix. It's been like that for like, how long have we had that? Since 17.1 or was it, seven, it was the one before that? Was it 16.2? <laughs> it's been at least, what, six weeks, maybe two months? An issue has been identified. We've been telling you that since day one. Jesus. Uh, just the slow response on some things from PUBG. Jesus. I don't know how they manage it. It's a, it's a unique skill. Hoots, thanks so much for the six months. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that. Matty, how you doing? Lovely to see you. All the patrons dropping their lovely little voice commands. If you would like your own custom voice command... You can sign up on our Patreon page if you're enjoying the stream. We're doing some Patreon squads on Friday if you want to come play some squads as well. Have a look on the link. Shout out to all the lovely Patreon supporters we have already. You bloody legends. 104-ish of you at the moment. 105, in fact. 105. Is that a new one? Oh, it is a new one. Oh, it's I'm Age Fan to me. Oh, thanks, mate. You ledge. Absolute legend. Great way to support the channel. Um, what are we doing? Glider parachute nonsense? Let's try that again. Where was the where was it I landed or I found the parachutes last time? It was was it this one? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? No, it was further down. It was this, wasn't it? We can land on there, get parachute, acquire glider, commence nonsense. Um, and then try and, you know, win serious PUBG, obviously. Support Alfie's treat addiction by becoming a patron. We've got so many treats from at the moment because uh, Sean's brother and family, they've got a little puppy. 
and they had a load of stuff. They bought loads of treats that they that weren't really like agreeing with his delicate little tummy. Whereas Alfie, Alfie would just eat anything. He's an absolute monster and iron constitution. So uh, we've now got all of the treats that they had for their dog. So Alfie's loving it. Thanks for your content, Lucky Luke. Cheers. I'm glad you explained that to me. I feel I feel enlightened to know what Lucky Luke is now. This is my favourite landing spot now on Miramar, by the way. It's where I'm going to land every game. I hope you're ready for that. There's a guaranteed Atex spawn in uh, this little room here. Um, there's a guaranteed level 2 vest spawn there. There's a... What the fuck is that? Oh, it's my belt. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's fine. Has anyone heard from um, Chewy yet to confirm if he's uh, alive and well in, in India? My cat will eat anything, then he'll throw it back up. Yeah, Alfie's pretty good. I mean, he will eat anything, and occasionally it does make him sick. But mostly, when he eats things that are actually food, he's normally fine. It's when he eats things that aren't food that, you know, that can be a bit of an issue. <laughs> like, some sort of, like my my mum was like, oh, does he like this? We were around my mum's yesterday. Was, I can't remember what she asked, but she's like, oh, does he like this? I'm like... It's food. He likes it. There is there is no item of food you could possibly imagine that my dog would not want to eat. Given that he quite often wants to eat things that aren't food at all. The very fact that it's food already steps up to like an S tier treat in his mind. Um, okay. We need gas and we need to find a glider. And oh, we're going to take this S K S. That's how you say it now. I did see the tweet. Yeah, I did see the tweet. We've locked out with Bear. He doesn't eat things from the trash or ground. That's good. That is good. Alfie loves to stick his face in a bin. You do have to keep your eye on him. I mean, he doesn't, he won't like pull out. He doesn't like, you know, try and get into kitchen bins or anything. But if you have a bin, like a little waste paper basket that's uncovered in a room it will like and you leave him alone for three seconds he'll stick his face in it take out a tissue and then just like munch on a tissue not really like eat it but you know just have a little have a little go but yeah he doesn't like pull, pull down the, the bin in the kitchen or anything and the nice thing about having a small dog is you don't have to worry about like the kitchen sides right like he can't reach you, anything that's on the kitchen sides is safe from dog height how do I teach my dog to be like that? She's so picky even with her free food. Which she's already proven she likes. I don't know. We, did, we didn't teach that. That was just my dog is just naturally a greedy bastard. Uh, yeah, so I have no idea, I'm afraid. Some dogs are just like that, really, aren't they? Just food, food motivated. He's very food motivated. Would he eat a turkey Twizzler? Oh, he would love a turkey Twizzler, mate. Jesus. He'd go bananas for one. He also likes bananas. Anything else you want to ask about, you know, what things that my dog might eat? Feel free to, uh, you know, ask in chat. And I'll... Was that there a minute ago? <laughs> oh, have I not been in here yet? I definitely walked in there looking for a gas can. <laughs> I'm going peculiar. Um, all right, we've got to find a glider now. We're a long way from the play zone. <clears throat> And by long way, I mean, yeah, quite a long way. Mr. Bear loves mango. I don't know if Alfie's tried mango. He normally gets a little bit at the end of a banana when Sean's having one. I saw I'm lurking for the first time. You want the gas for the glider? Uh, yes, yes. That is, um, that is exactly what I'm doing. What's his view on quinoa? Um, I I haven't. He hasn't had an opportunity to to eat quinoa, so yeah, I can't can't really comment on that. I suppose. I guess if I go this way, we'll end up eventually getting back to the play zone. I suppose you could say that for either way, couldn't you? But do you get do you get glider spawns on this bottom road? I feel like they're all kind of tucked in these little side roads, but 
I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ben, do you make more off ads or subs? Um, do you mean on Twitch or on YouTube? I've turned off our Twitch ads now because I felt like people were getting fucked off with the midstream ads despite them being quite a handy source of revenue. I felt like it was really fucking the viewership numbers. So um, I basically turned them off. So there's only this, the ads that play automatically when you open the stream now. Um, so the answer to that is fuck all. We make fuck all on ads on Twitch. Um, on you, on Twitch, in terms of subs, we make, I guess, slightly more than fuck all. <laughs> so I would say subs. There's no one who makes more on, I, well, mm, I don't know. I don't think anyone would make more with ads on Twitch than they would on subs, unless they have very high consistent view account, but a relatively low sub count. Like if we had 500 average viewers every stream, but the same sub count we have now, and I ran midstream ads, we would probably make more on ads. But unless you run minimum like three to four minutes of ads per hour on Twitch and you have a fairly high view account, like 150, 200 plus, then um, you'll, you'll make fuck all money on ads on Twitch. Oh, should we go the bot? I feel like I always find them when I go over there. I have got no first aid, so we need to be a little careful here. Hey, Triple Find, how you doing? I was doing that for a bit, Fried, but for a bit of an experiment these next couple of weeks, I'm just going to not bother playing any ads. So we'll go back to having the automatic pre-rolls when you click the stream. Um, and no midstream ads, and just kind of see how that seems to affect viewer count. I did miss the gas can initially, and then I went back and got it, which might have thrown you. Thank you for this business meeting. Yeah, you know, I'm happy to talk about stuff like that. I find it interesting. Most of Twitch chat probably doesn't, but as long as me and Leo do, it's the most complete answer I could have hoped for. We didn't find a glider. Shit. I guess viewers who aren't subscribed are expecting some ads on a stream anyway. Generally, yeah. The problem with ads on Twitch is like, it's harder to, people aren't used to watching them midstream as much as they are, you know, mid video on YouTube. And also when you're watching a YouTube video and you get an advert partway through, the video pauses and then picks up and you don't miss anything. Like it disrupts the flow slightly, but you don't miss anything. Whereas with live content, you miss something. So that's the, that's the kind of the tricky part of it. Oh, noob foods in my game. Nice. Is fuck all enough for a Christmas beer? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's all relative, isn't it? I mean, one man's fuck all is another man's treasure, right? Is that a saying? Should be a saying. Uh, we're getting quite low on gas here. Might have to ease off the old boost. You do get a glider spawn out on the left here sometimes, don't you? There's a little strip. So yeah, I don't know. It's a hard, it's a hard balancing act to decide on. You know, how much do we run ads to on Twitch to help support the channel, you know, versus, you know, if you, if you run them too much, then, and you get a lower view account, then you're going to have less, you, you know, you're not going to make any money from your ads anyway, because there's not enough people watching to generate um, money. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, it's a tricky situation. I don't know what this lad's doing. There's not a glider here, unfortunately. That is, um, that is a shame. I'm kind of surprised there's someone over here. I might have to put this gas in the bloody truck in a minute. I've got to get in the play zone. There is that quad bike, but I feel like this guy is going to gonna shoot me. Someone driving down. Do you think that's him? I don't know. I'll just get on this and see what happens. At least you're not Sky Sports and ad every second. Well, I mean, that that's the thing that is always, you know, handy is, um... Yeah, is this guy coming? 
is you know on on normal TV people are used to seeing you know just a crazy amount of ads right but like I said the argument between live and, and non live content is just a little bit of a different situation I guess the trick is to make sure that any content you do during an ad break is just it's just shit and then people won't mind right <laughs> they won't be missing anything this thing faster than me because I don't want him to like catch me up and murder me. He seems quite intent on trying to murder me. He was landing some good shots. I don't know where he's gone. He's having a nice old time, isn't he? I think that's a different man. Ooh. I mean, you say at least I'm not Sky Sports, but if I if I was Sky Sports, then you know I'd probably be making quite good revenue. In fairness, if I was Rupert Murdoch, one man's shite content is another man's. <laughs> exactly, another man's brown gold. I know a few streamers who run 10 plus ads at times. So they think people are more likely to be sub if they blah, blah, blah. Those people who constantly have thousands of viewers. I think if you have thousands of viewers and you're running big ad breaks, you're not running it to try and motivate people to sub. You're running it because it generates good ad revenue. Like if you've got several thousand viewers and you're running a, you know, five minutes of ads every hour, then you're making a real nice amount of money off those ads and you probably couldn't give a rat's ass if an extra 100 people or 500 people subbed. Hey Retro Joe, how you doing? But then I'd be Rupert Murdoch. That's true. I think I'd probably have quite a good viewer numbers on Twitch though. If, I was Rupert, if Rupert Murdoch was a streamer, despite, you know, don't get me wrong, I loathe Rupert Murdoch as much as any other reasonable human being. But if, if, say, I was Rupert Murdoch and I was streaming on Twitch, I feel like a lot of people would watch that. Just saying. Ooh. Twitch strategy. Yeah. Yeah, if you have good viewer numbers, then you, you can make a decent amount of ad revenue. But you need to be, yeah, you need to be pulling a decent amount of viewers. But like anything, really, you know, you do a YouTube video and you get 10 views on it, you're not going to make anything. But you do... 50,000 views, you know, you're doing all right. A lot of people would turn that off after 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of kind of weird, isn't it? But then if they're watching TV, you know, they'll sit there and watch like a three-minute ad break, right? Every 15 minutes or whatever. Sure, we'll take... Oh, that's very nice. Oh, he's right up there. Jeez, oh, I've got one bandage and a painkiller. We gotta get out of here. It was a good hit, but I was quite still. <laughs> it's this fucking light loadout. Jesus. I've got such, it's been such a terrible place here with no meds. Fighting this guy uphill, I can't even see. He's definitely seen me. Oh, he's over there. I say definitely seen me, maybe not. I don't know. Jesus. I'm just trying to talk Twitch business here. There's a fucking guy coming up behind me now. Where'd he go? Pretty sure I heard a guy running just there. Oh, Papa, I don't want to be here anymore. I've made a terrible decision. Where do they all go? Maybe if we just wait, everyone will leave. Hello. It'll be fine. I've got no meds, no smokes. Where did this mystery... He's still there. He did see me. All right. Hello. Come on.
We'll just have a fight. It'll be fine. I'm just concerned there's a man behind me, really. This is like the worst tree ever to take cover on. God, he's very bouncy, this boy. Can we, like, get up here a little bit? It's not much cover, but... We just get over this ridge. Get on this rock. Be a bit better. And then if we have a fight and get hit... Oh, he's a... Oh, he's one of them. He's a... He's a long-range sprayer. It's all right. We can just hide here in med. Oh, no. We have no meds. Okay. That's oh, a jump, didn't he? He's a jumpy boy. Oh, that was very close to being a headshot. I have zero meds to deal with this situation. Oh, he's... Oh, someone else shooting me. Boo! That guy is still up there as well. Oh, my God. Shoot the other guy. Jesus. I'm going to have to try and get into this compound and find some meds. I'm oneers. Pro strats. I mean, I don't want to curse this by saying somehow I'm alive because there's a man up there who wants to shoot me very badly. He's going to have to keep the erratic wiggle on. But I am still somehow alive. He's still there. Do we need ammo here? Yes. Mostly we want medication. Meds. Please. Please meds. Please meds, I'm one as. Oh, Jesus. He seems preoccupied. Um, we found we found a single boost. <laughs> a lot of level three vests. Oh my god! What a silly game. <laughs> Justin, how you doing? Space Cody, thank you for the year and a half. Cheers, buddy. Snapgate, how's it going? Leonidas, how's it going? God, sir, I couldn't read really chat for a while. It was, it was. You know, I was a little bit preoccupied. Please don't shoot me, man, on the top bit. Oh, bandos. Bandos and an EMT. Right, let's um, EMT our way to full health. Oh, whilst jumping. Don't worry, PUBG is aware of the med issue. Ah, oh, yes, they are. They're finally aware. <laughs> Happy days. Quite a convenient EMT there, really. All right. Take me K9 back. Get rid of that. I think we can maybe ditch the gas can. Going to be honest, at this stage, I'm not sure we're going to find the glider anymore. That was a pro play there. I hope you all respected and enjoyed that pro play. I know I did. Don't really need all this, do we? You still up there, friend? Hmm, maybe. Not really sure. Okay, well, we're not oneers. A 3x org EMT. Yeah, that would be a good loadout for, like, a, a really good player, wouldn't it? For a sweaty player. Hmm, right. Okay. Well, should we just go for a jog and see what happens? I think that's a good way to approach it. What's up, Mr. Potato? How you doing? I was literally just watching a streamer playing PUBG prior to tuning in here. He, she turned the ads on in the very end circle as they're about to push. When the ads finished, it just said winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, it helps the sub, I guess. It's also, it, it is worth keeping in mind with those ad breaks. Oh. Um, it is worth keeping in mind with, with ad breaks on Twitch that most people who run midstream ads probably have them just set up to run automatically. Like you set them on a schedule so you can hit a certain amount of ads per hour 
Um, so they'll just it'll just kind of automatically run two minutes of ads every um, every thirty minutes or whatever. So it probably wasn't them deliberately. It may have been. I don't know, but it was likely not them purposely clicking an ad break to block the end of the game to make people sub or anything like that. It was more likely just a scheduled ad break um, that that ran automatically. At least you still have your parachute. I forgot I picked up that parachute. Something tells me you're no stranger to video games sweating. I'm not a sweaty video gamer. What are you talking about? The sad part is also I wouldn't put it past people to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe smaller streamers, but I think anyone who knows you know much about the business side of Twitch is going to... I don't think, you know... I doubt people would bother doing that. There's not really any benefit, is it? Boom, 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 boom. Am I planning a lot of sniping? Um, I mean, I haven't, I haven't planned any sniping, but I don't think I plan anything for PUBG really, apart from YouTube videos. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. Should we try and shoot people this game? That was more of a let's Ben just talk about random things for <laughs> 25 minutes game and then get shot while he's talking to Twitch chat. Let's um let's try and shoot people in this one. That'd make me buy Twitch Turbo before subbing. That's the thing. I mean, Twitch Turbo is a much better thing to buy on Twitch than subbing to any channel, really. It provided you... If you watch more than one channel on Twitch, then Twitch Turbo is a better investment, at, you know, aside from the fact that it doesn't benefit the streamer. But in terms of, like, you know, how it affects ads, it's a... It's a good little, good little thing. I feel like they should you should get like the benefits of Twitch Turbo if you sub to like I don't know 3 or 4 people like at a time on Twitch it should just give you the benefits of Twitch Turbo Cuz it's kind of dumb that you could be sub to like 10 different people but not have Twitch Turbo and still have to get watch ads on like any stream outside those 10 it's kind of rough right I just want everything for free that's fair <laughs> This is a weird plane, isn't it? Where do we drop, chat? Just quickly, chat. There's not much time. It's on you, chat. This is all on you. I've got to know. Studio? I'm not going to studio. Cave. <laughs> Kang. Prison. These are on. None of these are on. Where's Kang? Shipyard. I can't go shipyard. That was the first reason vaguely reasonable request. <laughs> Where's Kang? Oh, sorry, Kang is down there. Kang was the reason why I just didn't know where it was. Oh, that was stressful. Shipyar, sorry, shipyar. <laughs> Arr, shipyar. All right, we're going for it. I like shipyar. It's good. It's a bit out of the way, but we'll be fine. We got one man. One man. Da, 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 da. I said, Juan man. Be fine. Do you come from a family of pirates? No, I'm actually the first from my family to um to take up pirating. Boop. Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me that, give me who. A K2. Thank you, thank you. Being interesting. A, a good bag. A mini 14. Bon 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 bons. Um, thank you. All right, let's get a helmet and try and find this this man, this boy. Should we try and run a K two? 
There he is. Hello. Need a little shot on him there. From way out. Which way are you heading, friend? Well, there he is. Got no helmet. Who's got no bloody helmet? Hey. Probably should have just sprayed him with the K2, but... I was having a lovely time. Um, oh, this is shitty, isn't it? And dig him out. Hmm, he could be there. Where did you go? Oh! Found him. Sneaky boy! Oh, he's so sneaky. Not so sneaky anymore. Um, cool. Let's carry on. Sure, that's fine. Um, we'll have that. He's headed to death! What's up, Flamethrower Jimmy? Great YouTube content finally given Twitch. Well, nice. Oh, thanks so much for checking out the stream, Jimmy. Thank you, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, what do you have? He had an ump. Oh, lucky to survive that. Okay, well, we're pretty set. Let's get out of here. We killed the one man that was here. I've been loving having the docks back on Sanok. It's a good drop. Yeah, old docks is, is a classic. Really is. I'm just going to skim through here in case we find extendeds or... Um, um, oh, a better, better scope. Better scope would be great. But not a huge deal. Let's put that on there, I reckon. Take a stun. I haven't had a game where I've carried like eight stuns for a while. That's definitely something that should be should be on my radar. The Butterfield Diet. There we go. Thanks, Holm. I'm glad someone did. <laughs> it's definitely pretty niche. Is that a... I feel that's like an SM... No, it is the right one. Nice. Oh, very satisfying when you make an incredibly niche reference and someone actually notices. I'd like ferries on this map. What, where, what, around the outside? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. The waterways in the middle aren't really big enough for ferries. I mean, they're quite wide, I suppose, but the bridges are probably getting in the way. Uh, right, let's go find some more people. Well, we got one kill. This is a good start, isn't it? We are in the play zone already. I should have been watching for the airdrop. I wasn't paying any attention. It's fine. We'll make do. Sorry, I missed that. I was watching an ad. Ooh. Personal fave. I haven't seen it for so long. It's a classic. Old Peter Serafinowicz. Absolute legend. Where was the sniper? There you are. This is where you need the old grenade timer, isn't it? Eggfart! 69... 43. Oh, a blue zone grenade he threw at me. Unlucky Eggfart. I thought the grenade would have done more damage. It looked pretty good. Better luck next time, egg fart. Go 
Let's see where you at. Um, <laughs> I think I saw a fresh two vest in there. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. And I think we're... Uh, oh, more stuns. Yeah, it's going to be a stunny, a stunny kind of game. We will sacrifice all for more stuns. The guy in the car just drove off. He didn't fancy it. He should have got stuck in, mate. Eggfart was up for it. Eggfart wanted, wanted a piece. The only thing that smells bad is your shooting. Nice, yep. Yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, there's a whole explained episode on Netflix that talks about pirates. Didn't know how important they were. Oh, interesting. I have not seen that. I don't really tend to watch much on Netflix. I just mostly tend to catch little bits of serial killer documentaries that my missus is watching on Netflix. She was watching one yesterday about like a, like a, a, a granny in America that had like a, a boarding house for vulnerable adults and she just like, just fucking murdered them all. Take their money. And she wasn't even a granny. She was just making us, she was just faking being a granny. Pretty crazy. I mean, it was a while ago, but it's still pretty crazy. I don't remember the finer details. Obviously, wasn't paying that much attention. I'm here all week. Got to walk the dog. Great content, as always. Cheers, Jacko. See you on Friday, mate. Going to be just on Twitch on Friday. No YouTube stream on Friday. Going to be Twitch all day doing Patreon squads. So, um, come hang out. It's going to be a giggle. It's going to be a blast. So is there anything like interesting in the update coming out? So this update for console is coming out next Thursday. Is there anything interesting in it that I've forgotten about that I should be excited about, do you think? We know we've got medding whilst driving. We know we've got... We know we've got a, a minor buff to the damage of the mini. We've got the grenade timer. Weird, thank you for the 48 months. Four years. Watching for at least seven since the tank days. Nice. Thank you so much, Weird. Really appreciate that, dudes. That is amazing. We'll do my PlayStation is dying, so I won't be playing. We'll watch and heckle. That's what I like to hear. Thanks very much. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else in the update that's like... It's a bit of a... There's all like little bits, isn't it? There's nothing like major in the update that's like... Ooh, can't wait to get stuck into this. Ooh, we need to get across the bridge. Okay. Where was the guy he was fighting? Did he kill him, I guess? Oh, it's all good. Kill the guy. Oh fuck, he's right there in the bush. Where did he run off to? He's back in the bush. Oh my god, you're so sneaky, Martin Sheehan, UK. <laughs> It run out of the bush, then straight back into it. You should have shot me when you had the chance, Martin. Should have got me while you could, Martin, you bastard. Those bushes, man. People love hiding these bushes. They're fucking enormous. 
Jesus. What a sneaky chappy. Eh? We are right, chat. I feel like I'm not, you know... I feel like there's not much coming back right now. <laughs> trying to, you know... Trying to get people a little bit excited. Definitely not working. Definitely not working. Blood out of a stone these days. Jesus. This guy's having a go, isn't he? Should we go and do the other bridge? Oh, fuck it. There's a bloke here. Oh, this guy. Ah, there's no solution here. <laughs> Please reload your gun. I guess he doesn't realize how low I am. I kind of, I fully expected that guy to just still be laying prone up here. He's going to be sitting in one of these bushes, isn't he? And that's him. Oh, there we go. Oh, thanks, chat. Oh, a little bit of chatting. There we go. Love that. Oh, my God. These bush people. These bush people are making me go insane. Jesus. Oh, thanks, chat. I appreciate, appreciate the effort. <laughs> Uh, appreciate the effort. You know, it's 2022. It's different times. You can't expect too much. Cheers, Chief Kestrel. How you doing? Oh, you were over on um, YouTube, right? You must be one with the bush. He was so sneaky. He must have been lying prone somewhere, that guy. We're having a really good look around. I was being quiet and listening. Oh, the matchmaking. Please, someone release a new fun game on console that we can stream. The matchmaking's killing me. The game's still fun, but the matchmaking is... Oh, God. It's wearing me down. To a, a worn nub of a man. And then we get another Miramar. It's all good home. I appreciate you hanging out and watching. I know not everyone can chat. It's just always a treat when people chat. It's nice. I'm enjoying your content very much. Just watching whilst building Lego. Nice. What are you building? Would bringing back adjustable region help? Um, I don't know, maybe, but I think it would just make it more extreme, wouldn't it? Because then regions would be really dead when people, when they got a bit quiet, they'd go completely dead and everyone would move over to the other server. And then everyone would have shitty pings, so you'd get loads of desync. You should find another game to play whilst matchmaking takes place. Bit of ship graveyard simulator while we load in. I wouldn't stop that. I'd be like, fuck it, let's just keep playing ship graveyard simulator. I've heard Earthworm Jim is making a comeback. Come on, just release something fun on Xbox we can all play together. It'd be great. Come on. Hoopa. Bop, 
Bo, 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 bo. God, we've had so much Miri today as well. Yeah, really the last week or two, matchmaking's really slowed down. Bit of farm sim. It's alright, we make our own fun. By, you know, having a little jog around the loading screen. Very enjoyable. Farming sim was great fun. We, I did enjoy it. It was a shame you couldn't have more people playing it together. And they need, like, the new one on Game Pass. Imagine having, like, 20 of you all farming together. Oh, it'd be great. Boop. There is going to be a <clears throat> YouTube video going out on the main channel later today, by the way. If you missed the YouTube stream earlier, you can watch that back by going to our YouTube homepage. There's a playlist there. You can watch it. Catch up with some games I played earlier on a YouTube live stream. And there's also going to be a normal main channel edited video uh, going out later as well. That's going to be going out in a couple of hours time. Just after I finish the stream here is kind of the plan. So um, lots of exciting YouTube stuff to check in on. Keep you going through the rest of the day. What's up, Vicky? How you doing? Boom, boom, boom. All oh, right. What we got? Miramar. Cool. We only had to wait, you know, five minutes for that game of Miramar. My 30th one of the day. Another awesome Uzi vid. Is it an Uzi video? I don't think it is an Uzi video. I think it's a P90 video. Is Fall Guys ever going to be released on Xbox? That'll be fun. It is meant to be coming out on Xbox. It was meant to come out last year, so it's already massively delayed. Um, yeah, I, I hope it comes out soon because I can't wait to play it. I played it on PC when it first came out and it was a lot of fun, but um, it would just be such a fun little community game. To be, if we could host private lobbies as well, it'd be so fun to be able to like host Fall Guys lobbies and have like you know all the people here playing... Uh, Playing Fall Guys together would be would be such a laugh. It's such a silly little easy like anyone can pick up and play. It's not really like a sweaty game. It's a, you know kind of level playing field pretty much. Those kind of games are great. Not for like you know every day, but you know for a nice bit of community shenanigans. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. Yeah, exactly. Bring back marbles. It'd be, yeah, it's Marbles kind of vibes, isn't it? Fun little party games. Oh, I thought there was a shotgun out there. I get some oh armor. Well, no one's dead yet. In the middle. I hear. <laughs> Quality drop shot, mate. GG's. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, someone got me from the side. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think Fall Guys would be a lot of fun. We we used to um, we used to play marbles every now and again, but it was on PC. But everyone could kind of play through Twitch chat, which is quite good fun. But Fall Guys, I think when Fall Guys does come out, it's most likely to be um, free to play. So hopefully everyone you know can join and play together. 
he came flying out of there. Yeah, the the jumping strat is a it's not a not a great technique in PUBG. The jumping drop shot. I mean, I'm not sure what he expected to happen. Yeah, so one day Fall Guys will come out. And, um, you know, it should be, uh, should be good fun. Let's play marbles. You don't, people don't want to play marbles. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to play marbles. I'm sure I saw there like the marbles creator was doing some like NFT stuff and I was like, oh, that kind of like put me off it a little bit. Anyway, you could set up a customs football match. No, well, you only get them in the pre-game lobby. You don't get them anywhere else, unfortunately. Bop, bop, bop. How the magic eyes. What's up, Heaven? How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I think Fall Guys would be a good bit of fun on the channel. Hopefully there'll be other stuff, interesting things coming out over this year. You never really know. Things just kind of come out of nowhere and suddenly there's something new and exciting to uh, that we can all play together. What's up, Rubix? How you doing? It's hard to predict what that would be at the moment, but we'll see. See what comes out. I'm well despite my continued PUBG slump. We all go through it. We all go through it. I had some rough days over the last couple of weeks. Monday I came back and had a good one. Why are you just standing there naked, madam? Put, put your clothes back on. Cover yourself up. Hey, doing Rubik's. Welcome back. Uh, Friday, by the way, if you missed the memo, going to be doing Patreon squads. If you want to play some games with me, come along. Come along on Friday. Join the fun. It's going to be a blast. Squad matchmaking seems a bit quicker than solo, so hopefully we'll get through some games, you know, fairly, fairly promptly. And I'll probably continue to do Patreon squads on Fridays instead of customs for the next few weeks and see how that goes. Because customs were getting a little quiet, so I thought maybe... Maybe squads. People still like playing a bit of squads. Just having a bit of silly banter and playing with your mates. That's what PUBG's all about, right? Not sweating out in solos. Had awful duo, awful duo Saturday night. Sweaty boys. Uh, sometimes you just always bump into the sweaty people. It just saps the fun, doesn't it? Play custom. I'm not playing custom days games today, mate. You're going to be badly disappointed. Plus, you know, barking at me like some kind of wild animal never gets you anywhere. Should do silly squads where certain team members are limited to some weapons. Um, I mean, if you've watched Patreon squads before, I feel like maybe limiting our options of what people are allowed to use is um, possibly overestimating what we're capable of achieving when you have free reign <laughs> of picking things. Squads is good fun if you have your mates in your squad. 
Anyone else finding evening PUBG games are getting more and more toxic? You got team killed twice in two matches? That is pretty rough. Where are we going here? Um, I don't know. Go crate game, I suppose. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, where, where we find a vehicle around here? It's not, we haven't got out of the greatest place in the world here, really. Pull early and look for, look for a ride. You do get them along here. There's a buggy, nice. Two people going over there, but I think they're going to the big compound. Oh, Gar's in my game. he would be down at Millie trying to kill everyone. I had gobby random squads on Saturday. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm more Gar and ban Ben banter streams. I mean, he'd probably be up for it. The amount of times I see him moaning about getting bored of solos and no progression in the game and all this. I know he always likes to, you know, have a bit of, just, just wind down a bit. Have a bit of fun. A bit of silliness. Get off the grind of just trying to get 30 kill solo dubs every every game. Don't blame him. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, why didn't I pick it up? I tried. I tried and I failed. Just trying to find a slightly more useful gun. Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to be a revolvey boy. I'm going to try and get a crate. Sure, it'll be fine. I was going to say one person can have a pistol only and carry meds. He can be designated medic. Oh, I like it. Yeah, nice. Right, let's see what we can manage. Oh, Captain Sausage is dead. I know you'll all be devastated to hear. I'm sorry to announce that Captain Sausage has been killed. That's Captain Sausage has now been killed. Kicking off my uh, voice acting career right here. There's the plane. Quite a long way away. At least we're on our way. Maybe that could be my new sideline, you know. Add a bit of variety to my day. I'll get a... Uh, I'll get a Fiverr account set up. Oh, oh my god, I thought it was going to go flying. Get me Fiverr account set up. Do a bit of voice work, you know, read out personalised birthday messages. That's a real... I mean, you know, there's there's D-list celebrities and there's Z-list celebrities and then there's like... Then there's me, right? You know, because you can pay like a few quid to have probably like Peter Beardsley or someone read, read you a happy birthday, but... God, I don't think I'll be able to charge very much. What do you reckon? A quid? Probably get a few done for a quid, couldn't I? Where's this bloody crate? Must have dropped it early, I think. Busted! Oh, you busted! ZZZ celebs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what comes below Z. Shall I take my money? That new patch smell. Well, we don't have it today because this is console, so, um. The patch actually comes out next Thursday for console. This, so this is um, that old patch. For fuck's sake, come on. Really? Is there another vehicle nearby? Ugh, Jesus. All right, we're going in here. Tom, thanks very much for your Patreon support, mate. Do you think that's underneath or on top? I think they're underneath. Let's go, Revolvey boys. 
No one died. You have it on PC. Excellent. Me too. I feel like it would have been in here. Yeah, it's been looted. <laughs> that, oh no, it's a... Uh, an S I'm not really sure I need the SKS, I'll be honest. Uzi versus Revolver, I'm not... Oh, okay. Wasn't filled with confidence in that one. Don't know why I've come down here, absolutely hate it. I just, I guess I flipped my car and then was low on options. Where are you, friend? This looks a bit less looted here. A lot of planes going on, aren't there? Let's just do this. I haven't decided if I want to use the thumb grip or not. We got any meds? We do have a med. Is the Uzi man still hiding down here somewhere? That is the question. There was a 3X I saw over here. Didn't I see a 3X over here? Did I imagine that? I guess I imagined it. Get rid of this guy. Ah, that's someone's skinned level 3 backpack. Interesting. TP penis, TP penis hell. Yes, exactly. I bet he's waiting right here for like the last 10 minutes. No, okay. Well, everything's okay. Let's go over here. There's a buggy over there. Hey, John, how you doing? Anyone in chat got the Astro A10s Gen 2? Anyone? The massive TP penis. That is... EMT not massively useful when you only have one first aid, but you never know. We'll see if we can get like a 3x and see how we get on. I feel like someone could well have jogged out. Like if you've done shelter, you might well head over here. Possible. My favorite place to loot the shelter. Oh my God, I hate it so much. I was left with somewhat limited options after um, having a little moment with my buggy. <laughs> this has been looted, I'm pretty sure. Can't fit through there. Yeah, it's been looted. So where the devil are you? We've still only got our red dot. I'm going to go get this buggy. There's probably someone at this compound here. You'd assume unless they just run off into the wilderness. Planes nearby as well. Do we have a Larry today on the menu? We had a Larry, a couple of Larrys on YouTube actually. On the YouTube part of the stream. Oh, that's a parachute plane. There's been a little bit of Larry action. I'm not sure there'll be any more today. Uh, hey, Randy, how you doing? Where do I get my settings for my A50s? Uh, there's a head... There's a, I, don't, I think there's a head EQ command. 
which shows my setting. But I don't use any custom settings. It's just I use like the Astro preset or something. I think. I don't know where everyone is. They are still killing lads, as you'd expect. Too late for Larry. You've missed Larry. Shit. Guess what we're going to do? Da, 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 da. Whoa! Anyone? Take that, thanks. I guess there's no one here. Seems kind of quiet. Like a glove. Oh, there's the three X we wanted. Beautiful. I don't know how I'll do with do with it to be honest, but we'll see. Probably shite. Nice, that's handy. Uh, let's keep the AR suppressor we might consider using at some stage, I guess. Great. Directly southeast. Where's the thing? Round here. Just need to remember to, like, switch them appropriately. Ooh! Ooh he has been shot in the face. Jesus, and he drove into that while I was reading chat. Okay, 140 from here, not too far. Oh! <laughs> Christ. Too many rocks. Why are these rocks even here? They seem like very unnatural rocks, don't they? Like, how did they get here? I'm not, I'm no geologist, but they're a bit suspicious, aren't they? Rocks don't just randomly pop up in a field, you know, like that size, do they? That's not how it works. I've read books. Oh. Ah! Oh, he was a slippery sausage, wasn't he? He was a slippery sausage. Thanks, EMT. Not sure he was shooting there. Hmm. There's two different guys shooting at me. One's got a VSS from somewhere. One's up there. We're hanging in there. What gun did he have it from the crate? I didn't even look. I was kind of hoping the VSS guy just run out of ammo. Get rid of that. We're not going to use that. Johnny Boulder's all over the gaff. See, no one knows. There's no answer for that. No one knows why the old uh, rocks are there. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, my my buggy is on fire a little bit. I didn't pick up these first aids. Did he have... Oh, no, I did. I thought he had more than that. Oi! No need for that, is there? We'll take that and we can zoom it. Um, All right, a bit more sevens. He, oh, he did have some. He didn't pick up the gun, so I guess it's an MG3 or something. I don't need the buggy, mate. I'm fine. There's another one over there. The fucking... VSS lad's back now. Oh, I see this guy. Oh, 
I have no idea where the VSS guy is. Oh my god, fuck off, shoot the other guy. Honestly. That's my last first aid. That'll get me. Oh my god, VSS guy, shoot the other, shoot the other dude. What's he throwing now? Oh my god, that guy had so many frags. The VSS guy would not fire a single shot at that other guy. Jesus. What's up, KP? How you doing? Nice to see ya. That's why you need like 10 first aids when you're running the EMT so you can really utilize it. Farmers would have to pay to have their equipment repaired. Would argue rocks appear at the worst times. I mean, it's a very insightful comment. I hadn't considered that. Hey, Soli, how you doing? Yeah, not bad, mate, you know. Hanging in there. How you doing, Soli? Don Tomo, reader of at least one book. I don't want to overdo it. <clears throat> Oh, gifted member. So gifted memberships are in gone into beta today on um, on YouTube, which is basically the equivalent of sub gifting on YouTube. Once that goes fully live, I feel like I might be doing a lot more YouTube streaming. I've been waiting for that feature for so long. I've read at least one book in my life too. Oh, it's like we're brothers. Knackered, started work at 5.09 a.m., finished at 4 p.m. That is brutal. My lad's got his Fisher Price controller in his hand, helping you, Uncle Ben. That's sweet. <laughs> the way it works is a bit odd, like you have to opt in to receive a membership from the specific channel. Okay, interesting. Well, we have a little look at it, you know. Hey, Minzy. Yeah, we've had some fun ones. No massive kill games, but we've been mucking around quite a lot, doing silly stuff. The YouTube algorithm decides who gets the gifty. Yeah, I don't know. I just think like, it feels like Twitch is kind of as a, as an entity, as a platform of relevance. It's just hanging in there by a thread at the moment. It feels like yesterday's news, doesn't it? We watch your daily YouTube videos in the morning. You get so excited when you're parachuting or driving a buggy. That's cute. There is a normal YouTube video going out in just over at six o'clock, hour and a quarter, going live on the main channel. What's up, Chief Blue? How you doing? Good to see you, mate. My friends say PUBG is also old news, but here we are. But what are they all playing instead? No one can ever seem to answer me that. When I'm like, what's everyone playing? Just silence. No one knows where everybody is. So they just, everyone just doesn't game anymore. Maybe that's it. I guess they're just spread between different stuff. You've moved to PC gaming. Fair. Twitch seems to be more beneficial for the people with thousands of subs and no longer about helping people do... Something they like. I mean, I don't think I've ever been like that, really. The thing is, in the early days of Twitch, you could get successful just by kind of being on the platform and sitting there and playing games. And it's no longer like that because as soon as the people got successful doing that, everyone was like, oh, that looks great. And then and now it's been, you know, just ridiculously oversaturated with content for, for years. So 
you know, it is, it's much, much harder to grow to get to a stage where you can run it as a business, you know, on Twitch. But, um, yeah, we can, um, we could survive, you know, we could survive just with YouTube. We couldn't survive just with Twitch. I just came back to playing PUBG. North. Fortnite Zero build. Maybe that's what I should be playing. Maybe I need to fucking wake up and smell the roses and get on Fortnite. I'm just not sure I could bring myself to like deal with <laughs> so many kids. I'll get so annoyed. I'll go have the patience for it. I actually did enjoy Fortnite Zero build. Maybe I should fucking play it. It's not exactly a new happening game, but it's definitely... See, I can't play Fortnite. I say things like a new happening. Um... But it's definitely more, uh, you know, buzzing than, than PUBG, right? Oh. But I don't know if I'd enjoy that sort of game. You've been having a lot of fun with Fortnite Zero Build? <gasps> That's the trick. We'll get in there. My cousin was saying he thinks Twitch will be gone in a few years. They're not spoiling the craze unless it's girls in hot tubs and bikinis. Uh, I mean, I disagree with that. I feel like that's like a bit of a classic trope of like any Twitch streamer who doesn't have many viewers is always like, oh, I'd have loads of viewers if I had boobs and was in a hot tub. And it's like, I mean, I feel like it's normally more that your content's not good enough and you don't have a good strategy to acquire viewers, then it's boobs fault. But um, it's, I think it's, it's more reasonable to say perhaps that Twitch don't really... Um, you know, they're, they're kind of just supporting the massive creators and not doing a lot for the smaller creators. Outriders are adding a DLC. I did see that, yeah. Boobs can never be at fault. Wise words. I just feel like when I, you know, when you see someone who's sitting there with like five viewers moaning about how titty streamers get all the views, it's like, come on, you can put more effort into your content to get more viewers than sitting there moaning about boobs. There are many people without boobs with many followers and subs. Well, exactly. And they, you know what they do? They make good content. They drop down. Oh, he dropped down. Why would you do that? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I guess he didn't know I was here. He regretted that at the last minute, didn't he? Hey, bit of Yorkshireman, how you doing? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Buddy. There's another guy there. Oh, I trapped myself in a door. Oh. Oh, look at my body. <laughs> look at my body go. <laughs> Get it out of there, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, Jesus. Oh. He's just not faced, is he? Not bothered in the least. No, nah, just walking away. Big Joe doesn't give a shit. Bearded Yorkshireman, thank you for the 22 months. Cheers, mate. Not so much as a glass of wine and a curry. Oh, mate, curry sounds fantastic right now. I haven't had a curry for at least a week or two. Oh, that's a shame. If I'd, I, if I'd realized there was a guy in there, we might have been able to get both, but we just chased that guy into the bloody death room. The room of death didn't work out for us. 
My brother just got affiliate. He definitely doesn't get his tits out. Nice. Congrats to your brother. Did I see Chewie's massive kebab he ordered whilst drunk and had no memory of ordering? I did not. No. Uh, was that on his Discord? Oh, another Miramar. <laughs> I, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, I can see Twitch, I can see YouTube surviving a lot longer than Twitch will, because Twitch doesn't really seem, I feel like Twitch is kind of a, feels like a dated model now. I don't know, I don't feel like, I feel like people are moving past just watching streams a little bit. Maybe it's you get kind of warped perspective, because you're used to doing one game and you're, you kind of see things based around the popularity of that game, perhaps. But um, I do feel like YouTube has much more of a... It doesn't, you know... It's such a bigger platform. Twitch is such a niche, and they don't really seem to add anything interesting. Hey, Yuki, how you doing? Good to see you. I'd watch throwback games from early PUBG days if you put them on YouTube. I mean, the thing is, it'd just be kind of re-uploading content that's already there, which just feels a bit lazy. Because all that content is there. I guess people just don't really go back and watch it so much. I suppose I could like, maybe I could grab, I could get old games and like do a commentary over them might be interesting, right? That might be a way of changing up the content. That one busty lass that's famous on here also has keen business sense. She owns gas stations with her millions. So boobs and disciplined investing. Yeah, Amaranth. I mean, you know... It, if you if it just required boobs to be successful on Twitch, then all the top streamers on Twitch would be ladies, and most of them aren't. It's mostly men, uh, you know, who who end up making most of the money on um, on Twitch. So it's it's you know it's it's rubbish to say that that's uh, you know boobs are holding any poor, disprivileged people who don't have boobs back on Twitch. How's it going? I hope well. Great race on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I think great is pushing it, but it was all right. It was, you know, it was better than a Monaco. It was, um, it wasn't a procession, but, um, yeah, it was definitely better than I expected it to be. There was, there was some overtakes. So did you say boobs? Yeah, we were having the like classic Twitch conversation. But, you know, people like Amarantha, you know, they've, as you say, you have to have a shrewd business sense to do more than, you know, to get yourself to the top of your game, right? I heard they help with viewers. I heard that too. I heard that going around. I heard they're keeping all the Twitch affiliates down with their damn boobies. Yeah, could be in for a couple of boring races with Barcelona coming up. Doesn't normally offer too much in the way of excitement. And then Monaco, which is qualifying is always fun for Monaco. The race is normally, you know, get a spreadsheet out and do your accounts or something on the side while you're watching Monaco. But You know, the male nip is apparently okay to show on stream. Might see how it impacts your numbers. I mean, that is true. That is true. I have seen streams where, you know, men have had... Uh, their nips out seems seems to be fine so um maybe that's what this stream needs is more more male nipple what did i miss just logged on hey womp nothing much <laughs> some exciting things i mean exciting things do sometimes happen in monaco danny ricardo's tragic pit stop um bottas had a shocker of a pit stop as well didn't he so you know interesting things happen does not a great race make to have one or two interesting things happen, but um, you know, anything better than insanely boring is a, is a plus for for any street circuit normally. Swoop, thanks so much for the gifty. He was supposed to win that one. I mean, the Danny Rick one from a few years ago was much worse because he would have won that, and it was you know not one of the people who you'd normally expect to be able to win winning, right? But yeah, the bodas one was pretty, pretty rough for him, obviously.
Why has everyone got this wacky pink hair? What's going on here? Where are you going, friend? More ammo, please. What's everyone's thoughts on this central bank digital currency idea thing? I have no idea what that is. Absolutely no idea. Is that an American thing? That was him trying to bait me a little bit there. Sounds like bait, doesn't it? Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> He's right here with a shotgun. Owie. Oh, here's the other guy. Is it better to hit fire the shotty than aiming? Um, yeah, a lot of the time it is. Yeah, it seems to work quite well. That's what Nacho seems to do. I try and copy him. Uh, what's up, Wimble Jim? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Long time fan on YouTube. First time watching live. Nice. Thanks for checking out the stream. Absolute ledge. Three minutes to lunch, longest three minutes of the day. Don't worry, mate. You're nearly there. You've nearly done it. Is that like a crypto thing? I don't really follow any crypto stuff. Not really my bag. I had a little picture pop up on my Facebook earlier that was uh, 10 years ago today. It was me... At the uh, Spanish Grand Prix at the Cert to Catalonia ten years ago, barely a barely a whisker on my face. I looked very young. That was the year that um, <laughs> the Maldonado won. The Mald Maldon Pasta Maldonado won a Grand Prix. I need to get ready for the dentist. Ugh. Yeah, I got a dentist appointment in a next month, I think. I did have one, and then they phoned up. They're like, oh, yeah, sorry, we can't do it anymore. He's out of the country. I'm like, oh, so he's booked a fucking holiday while I'm going to have my teeth done. Thanks, mate. I've not been for ages. I'm sure they'll be very annoyed. Yeah, that was... Uh... It was okay. I mean, it was a it was an awesome experience to be there. The race itself, if you watch on the TV, probably wasn't that. I don't know. I mean, Maldonado won. That's pretty mad in itself. Hamilton qualified on pole on that one, and then there was some like fuel discrepancy, like not enough fuel for a sample or something. So he got demoted to the back of the grid, which is pretty rough. Madden Maldonado won somehow. I can't remember where everyone else did. Schumacher. That was when Ma Schumacher was still driving. Michael Schumacher, not not Mick. But when he'd done his comeback, so he was driving with whoever he was driving with then. I remember he crashed. I can't remember what the top three was. I remember um, Maldonado won, though. Is dental covered in the UK? No, you have to pay for dentist stuff. It's not crazy expensive, but it depends on what you have done, really. If you're just having a checkup, it's, you know, only going to be a few tens of pounds. But if you're getting anything like, you know caps or dentures or whatever pin it's going to cost you a good few quid i think when you're when you're young you get it like free when you're school age you get it pretty much free i seem to remember but uh yeah dental stuff isn't covered under like the nhs so. a big shooter thank you for the 17 months cheers mate how you doing never had the gaius 
I've never had the gas and dentist. I've only, but I've had anesthetic, but they tend to give you like an injected local anesthetic. They just inject into your gums, which is a very disturbing feeling, having your gums injected. But I had that. I had a tooth pulled out a few years ago. Just took them out. And then when, once they had them out, I was like, so what do you do now? Do we like put like in a false tooth or something? They're like, we can do. That'll be like about 1,500 quid. I was like, I'll just, I'll just have the gap. I'll stick with the gap, thanks. That's fine. <laughs> who needs who needs a false tooth? To me, as an Englishman, I was like, fifteen hundred pounds on medical things? That's outrageous. To an American, you'd probably be like, oh, that's an absolute bargain, fifteen hundred quid. Let's take that. Have you met any Larrys today? I haven't met. I've been I've been rolling with some Larrys today. Yeah, we've taken a few along for a little journey. It's been nice. Didn't really get anywhere, but we had we had some fun along the way. Uh, we've got Mo's in. Excellent. Hey, buddy. A crossbow and a smoke launcher. Um, cool. Not really bothered about the C4. Gonna be honest. Your old dentist would offer it for clean sometimes. I'd agree. All the den dentist gas just makes me think of Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> That's all I can think of when I think of dentist gas. Um, let's take that. And, um, oh, it's a Southie. That's a Southie. He even snuck in the back here, that guy. I guess that's where he got his crossbow. Great scene. Yeah, just a, a great movie slash musical. Hey, Kevin Gracie, how you doing? I'm excellent, thank you for asking. Fun story, I once threw up in a dentist whilst having a filling. I'd had yogurt and coffee about 30 minutes before, so you can imagine how nice that was. Oh, that is grim. There's a man in that window. Oh, God, it's like a creepy ghost. Get out of the window, sir! Get out of the fire! Oh. I warned you. Told you to... Oh, Jesus. God, that fire lingers, doesn't it? <laughs> it set their house on fire. Do your half door, do your half door, do your half door, let it linger. Nice. Um, the ammo, I mean, not my singing, that was terrible. Let's take all this ammo and go to the bridge. Here, there's some handy stuff for us. It's the, um, the lovely thing about, oh, we need a scope. Let's have a quick look for a scope. That's one of the nice things about killing people with throwables like that, without having a normal fight first with shooty things, the big pointy shooty, the guns those things, is um, it doesn't damage their armor, so we just got that sweet three vest. Sweet, sweet three vest. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's just, oh, fuck, I thought it was a C4. Just dropped everything. Jesus. I'm good for a DP, thanks. I'll take that nice bag, though. All right. We don't have a scope, but I'm going to go bridge anyway. I'm done looting. I'm not good for the COVID, but hey-ho. I hope you're not feeling too shitty. I had it a couple, of, two or three weeks ago. It was a bit shit, but not, not awful.
a bit like this stream. Hey, I'll be here all week. To the bridge for a sort of some sort of vague attempt at a bridgey, but they kind of don't really work very well anymore because the bridge is too big. Something like that. Careful dodging of the red zone there. Nobody wants to be red zone. Thanks for all the subs today. We've hit 10 subs and resubs today, you bloody legends. Thank you for thank you all for your support. Shout out to all our Patreon supporters as well. Helps the channel massively, you bloody legends. There's a man. He might have a sniper. A sniper? A scopey scope. Don't go too far, car. I need you. I need you. You absolute ledge. Get down from here before someone murders me. I was like, no one's going to climb up to the top of that tower without a scope, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know. I know that you know. Even with little to no response, I know that you know. Hey. Hey. There's always someone else. Let's see where he is. I've got his smokes. There he is. Oh, and then I get aim punch from the guy behind. Fuck's sake. I might just jump in the... I feel like I can probably get this guy. Kind of hiding. I'm just going to try and get in the car. And... There we go. Oh, this guy had moved right over. Came came for a piece, didn't he? Let's just get in a better position so I can't get third party so brutally again. I guess that was the guy I was shooting before, wasn't it? Right, where was this guy? Seem to be looking. Logics! 49, 49 missed clicks. Thanks very much, mate. How you doing? Oh, lovely to see you. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. I'm dead when the wife gets home. I scave all morning watching you on YouTube and all afternoon watching you on Twitch. Nothing done around the house. Oh, don't tell her it's my fault. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> How'd you get into a rhythm of a game of PUBG these days where I feel like I just get rinsed third parties? Um, honestly, I just have exactly those same days. Sometimes you can get into a rhythm and you can get a good session going, and sometimes I just get absolutely shat on all day, and it's very frustrating. Um, sure, I'll take that. Why not? I think we're kind of, we don't really need much, but throwables are going to always be useful, I suppose. Yeah, sorry, not very helpful advice, Antcrest, to be honest, but <laughs> it's kind of the truth of it, I think.
Originally I was heading to the bridge, but I just felt like we kept bumping into people here. So I might loiter and see if we pick up another kill or two. Wait and see if this guy exposed himself. There's a guy back there. There. Ew, exposing himself. Uh, what's up, Riflemans? How you doing? You can all rejoice. I have returned. Oh, Hollywood. I was just thinking. I, I wish Hollywood were here. I wish, I wish... I wish my old buddy Hollywood would come along and say hi. And lo, you have. Thanks, mate. Uh, I've got no angle on these boys. Should we just get across the bridge or on the bridge? There's a lot of sniping going on and not a lot of action. I'm trying to shoot this guy. Go on, son. Oh, there's a fucking flare drop right here. I didn't even notice. <laughs> it was right here. I wonder what this guy was pulling up to. Oh, it's not a flare. It's a rock. It's a rock. It's not a flare. Oh, I thought it was a flare. It looked like the um, crate from uh, Haven. You know, the old like pile of boxes. In my mind, it was that. I think it's been a bit of a long day, to be honest, guys. Bit of a long day. Clearly losing my marbles. Um, all right. We'll go back and get our um, our taxi. Not an airdrop. Ramming speed. How you doing? Well, we killed some men's. That's the goal of the game, right? Killing the men's. That's what I've been told. First you kill the men's, then you get the the power. Something like that. Then you get the, the money. The cash gold. Yeah, we're good, Logics. Thanks. All good. Hanging in there. I'm going to need to make an attempt on this bridge in a minute. How's this guy getting on? He's my, he's my tester. He's taking hits, but he's not dead yet. That's my car. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that is a... Ooh, that's a circle, isn't it? Right. Ooh, BRDM. Follow the BRDM. Actually, they'll probably shoot me rather than the BRDM, won't they? <laughs> this feels like a good time to go when it's a bit lively, doesn't it? They'll all be busy reloading or shooting at someone else. You just want Vikendi back. It's coming back. It's coming back soon. Can I just drive along behind the BRDM, do you think? Let's just do this. <laughs> no, go in a straight line. Go in a straight line. What are you doing? <laughs> You're my protection. Fine. I don't think there's anyone down here. It's tempting to drive by. I could probably take off half itself to the drive by, but. <laughs> there's I think there's someone behind shooting at us, to be honest. Oh, there was a sniper up there. It's good I didn't drive by. I would have got smoked. See, so it'd be great to turn around and shoot people on the bridge, but this fucking sniper dude's chill on the roof over there. In what I like to call uh, the dickhead position. Spoiling everyone's fun for a... For a... Bridgie. Come, on, mate. Let's have a go. Let's have at you. Was that a classic Verstappen brake check by the BRDM? I think maybe it was. I think maybe it was. I watched a clip of the old classic Vettel when he years ago when he accused Hamilton of brake testing him. And uh, so then Vettel just drove along next to him and just rammed into him, on, just like rammed into the side of him on purpose. That was a classic. Was that a Imola, I think it was? I can't remember. I think it was Imola or something. Come on, mate. Fucking hell. 
We're all just trying to play PUBG here, mate. Could have worked. Vettel gives zero fucks. It was a bold move. And then even afterwards, he like, wasn't really... He, he didn't, wasn't very apologetic. Oh, I knew that was going to happen, but I really wanted to blow that guy up. Do I still get the kill? Yeah, I got the kill. Oh, this guy's emoting. Who is this guy? I guess he's pleased to get a kill. Worth it. Worth it all day. How's the running going? Still softly, softly catchy monkey? Yeah, I started getting back into running um, last week. I started after taking a month out. So I did three runs last week. And then um, three again is the target this week. But yeah, good. I, my, I think the injury is healed up. I haven't had any issues with my foot slash ankle um, since I got back into it. So yeah, I've been... Um, been positive, been promising. I just did short runs last week and gradually building up. I did like a 5K, then an 8K, then a 10K, and then 13K yesterday, yesterday, and that was fine. So yeah, just easing in slowly. The target this week will be to do three runs and do about 35K. And if I can just keep that steady and gradually slowly build that up, I can get up to some okay level of fitness. Just got to be careful with it. Oh, a little haven. First haven all day. Was it Azerbaijan? Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. Does anyone want to see the other maps rolled back in any way? I'd love the old Erangel bridges back. I would love that. I mean, I'm not bothered about them, you know, rolling back to like OG Erangel or anything. But um, I much prefer the, the other old bridges were much more fun on Erangel. So easy to go a bit hard after a break. I guess you're experienced enough, experience enough not to do that. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's I, I don't have to go in. I'm, st I'm still taking it very measured and slow, but um, I still, I don't think I've lost too much. My fitness has dropped a lot, but, you know, I've still, I ran so consistently for the whole of last year um, and the year before, really, that, you know, the underlying strength is there. Even taking like a month out, that's still there, so... It's not kind of going back to square one, but I do need to be sensible with it. But the plan is to not really build up by more than like 5 to 10k each week is kind of the goal. And then ease off again when it gets to like 50, 60k a week. What's that like 30 miles, something like that. You know, that's when you 30, 40 miles a week when it's getting to pretty serious amount of mileage. Keep it very sensible. Hey Jack, how you doing? Nice to see you, mate. But the new bridge is the only place you can find meds. Also true. Also true. PUBG did tweet earlier saying that they've discovered there's an issue with the first aids on Erangel and Miramar. So uh, they do seem to have finally become aware of it. Despite being told about it for like the last two months. By literally everybody. They suddenly noticed. What do you think of Choco Taco uninstalled in PUBG and not playing again for a while due to the game crashed on him? Um, yeah, I mean, fair enough. Fair, fair play to, to Mr. Taco, really. It's a shame to see it. It's a shame that that crashing issue is so prevalent at the moment for PC players. Um, you know, it's a shame that PUBG haven't been able to really identify the issue. I don't think they think it's their issue, despite it, you know, there's, it seems to be affecting lots of players and some quite pr big high-profile streamers. Um... Who've been crashing loads, and yeah, now now Choco's kind of kind of done with the game, which is um which is a shame, you know. He's an o an OG. Ba 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 ba. Oh, I thought I'd picked up a vest. I guess not. Go for the uh, Vecchi. It needs leveling up. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a bit far away for a Vecchi. 
Come back, friend. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be looking behind him at all. I shot you with a lynx to the head when you're on top of a mountain on Miramar the other day. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Well, I'm pretty dead here, I think. He ran back inside? Where did you go? What is this? <laughs> Dude just disappeared. Oh, God damn it. Just stay and fight. I'd rather like get killed and they stay and fight then. Just trot off, never to be seen again. Christ. So hard not to just run the MP5 on this map every time. It's just boring. I hate guns that are just like stupidly powerful like that. I just get so bored of. Let's try and shoot the guards with a, my unextended vector. Check this guy's not trying to shoot me in the butt. They shoot the wall a lot, don't they? Oh, the, oh, the death truck's coming. She's a coming for me. Where did the other guy run off to? He's gonna be around to the right somewhere, isn't he? Where are you all? Oh, oh, hello, he's a real boy. Fucking hell, it's the pink boy's back. Oh, party! Get him! Get him, guard! <laughs> oh, he's... What are you doing? He nearly got him. My friend. I need, uh... I need some better medication. Go on, mate. Just trot in. I hope the commander doesn't come out that little door. <laughs> oh, he was trying to TP it so hard. So hard. Didn't work out for him. Right, we just got to take down the commander. I'm sure this will be fine. With no meds, no health. Shitty weapons. Don't come out of that door, commander. I'll take my Uzi. I'll do better with the Uzi. Oh, I am kind of leveling up the Vector, aren't I? We'll stick with the Vector. Um, I hope one of these guys has some first aids, because it's, um, mm, it's going to be tricky otherwise. That's handy. Okay. Well. Oh, fuck, there's another guy coming. Please have meds. God, I heard someone scampering along outside. I was hoping that grenade would like expertly pick them off. Uh, okay. Sorry, Vector. I'm taking an MG3. It's all been very exciting. It's hard to stay on top of it. We'll take a med pretty soon, don't I? We don't have to go too far, though. Bots to the rescue. Uh, okay, let's have this. Jesus. What's up, Stu? How you doing, Mushy Bees? How's it going? 
Uh, oh, okay. I'll take a uh, a grozer. Even better. Uh, okay, we're alive. We're happy. I I do feel like the death truck is kind of waiting for me outside, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. I think we're okay. Jesus. I need some medication. Anything? What was that random little puff of smoke for? Someone's got an AWM. Nice. What level is my DP? I don't know. Sixty something, seventy something, I think. Something like that. Right. Uh, well, we've had a bit of fun mucking around with the guards. We killed one real boy. Now we're like, you know. See what's going on in the rest of Haven. Ooh, a first aid. What a treat. Oh, I've got a hollow on me, Groza. Let's get rid of that. Jesus. Bad is. There's a man. Got you. Sounds pretty close. We're okay. I'm sure it's gonna come around here. Oh, I had all the first aids. That's why they were hiding. Anything interesting? Take frags, thanks. Did you have an extended? A lot of stuff. No. Okay. It's fine. I like a map that is just you and 99 commanders. Oh. Man can dream. Quite the challenge, wouldn't it? Nine alive. See what we can do. Oh, this is the other guy throwing a grenade at me. Just follow them round in circles till everyone's dead. Seems to work. There is a guy there. I thought I saw a guy. Yeah. Sneaky. Feels like a lot of eight kills on this map. And then you realise like three or four of those were guards. Still. That was a funny little fight, wasn't it? He had quite the outfit. That is... That is something, isn't it? Um, did you have anything we want? Not really worth that worth it at this stage in the game, but you never know. Oh, he did have an Orm. He was the Orm guy. All right, I'll take your Orm. For like the last five people. Sub for a dub. Steve, thanks for the 14 months. Oh, for you, Steve, for that sub, I will try and get a dub. Um, okay, five alive. We we got Orm bullets for all of you. He only fired one Orm shot, that guy. He got killed with it. Very efficient use of of orminess. Oh, there's a man in there. Thanks, truck. It's quite good for that kind of thing. <laughs> it's a real giveaway. When it starts firing rockets at random walls for what appears to be no reason. 
Don't look at me, mate. Don't you look at me. Nothing to see here. We're all friends here. Um, cool. It's quite a bitty sort of area for it to finish, isn't it? Like, there's just so many little, so many little nooks and crannies that people could be hiding in. Are they in a nook? Maybe they're in a cranny. We'll just see what the next zone does and then we can go with the flow. Oh, I fell in a dumpster. Guy still around there with an ace. Oh look at God, this is a this is a mess. Oh he's up there, I see him. Should have ormed him really. Another one. Where is he? He's running away now. Quite lively, isn't it? There's, oh, this is a different guy. But... Oh, how's that? A heady. Fuck. Frack, good stunt. Guy there as well. <laughs> Will you fuck off? God, so many different people shooting at me. Jesus. Funny how they're always so close to each other yet no one's shooting at each other. Oh no, story of the day. Story of the day, so unlucky. Like three different people that were fired, fired at me and hadn't fired a shot at anyone else. Jesus. It was spicy. There wasn't much way out of that situation. <laughs> we need to just charge balls deep at the close guy and clear him out. Oh, this matchmaking's been quite painful as well. So slow. So slow today. Yeah, the uh, update went out for PUBG PC today. 17.2. It's going out next Thursday for console. Weather looks good on Saturday. Crack open the Weber and stick a keg in the PD. Well, I don't have any kegs. Um, and the missus is working, so, yeah, I don't know what I'll do, really. Go for a run. It is looking nice on Saturday, isn't it? Eurovision Saturday night, looking forward to that.
I could probably order a keg before then. <laughs> a Eurovision keg. I don't know if I'll um I don't know if I can ever be as satisfied with kegs the kegs again though after last time when I got ordered a keg of punk and they accidentally sent me two for the price of one. Like the the enjoyment is never gonna be that good again. <laughs> unless they do it again. <laughs> We got through to the playoff final. So happy. Isn't it against Chelton? Oh, nice. Good luck, mate. Eurovision big go. Okay, sure. Oh, I can't wait for you. Eurovision last year was banging. There were some great tracks from it. Order before 4 p.m. tomorrow. Get it by Friday for a keg. There we go. That's that sorted. How much do I have to buy? I have to buy two to get free delivery. I need to send back some of my old ones. I've got so many. I've got like six old kegs I've not sent back. You get a five a credit, don't you? I need to send them back. That's a that's a punk. Should I just get two punks? Should I get something different? Punk's good because the missus likes it as well. I'd like to say Eurovision is one of my guilty pleasures, but I don't feel guilty. <laughs> Get something American and shitty at summer. No, never. Just pop to the shop in Fathersham now to get mine. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek for me, I guess. What, is that a beer hawk shop or what, is that a different shop? I tend to buy them off um off beer hawk. Chiselhurst has a shop that doesn't too. It's probably kind of equidistant Chiselhurst or Fathersham for me, I'd guess. Maybe slightly closer Chiselhurst. Just a reseller shop. I'm not above a cause light. Oh, mate. I can't handle that. Get onto the Thorn Bridge. It's like Brewdog, but not shitty. <laughs> Is that in the um, perfect draft kegs? It's already 40C. Be here needs to be light. Yeah, that's fair. Whatever excuse you need for, you know, drinking shit beer. You can get a couple of them. Jaipur, etc. I'll have, I'll have a little look. Keg delivery should be like the milkman of old. <laughs> Where they just swing by. When their little truck in the mornings, 5am, dropping your kegs off, taking your empties. Oh, that'd be great. Got some beef ribs, short rib for the smoker. Ah, oh, it sounds fantastic, mate. I don't drink bourbon these days. Calorie counter. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Right, see what we can do. Oh, Jesus. That's a man. Oh, I wanted that vector. Oh, I wanted to land with that. Oh, and there's a vest there as well. Well, this was a fun game. Someone's just landed. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, 
Why you do this to me, PUBG? It's okay, I've got my shitty pistol. Okay. How do I pick the six worst rooms at school? Oh, I know. Outside over here. How does he not go down? I hit him with the first shot he hit, right? Damn. Waited for him to fire off his thousands of S12K hits first. See, that is slightly better. Oh, hello. What is going on here? Did he go up? I think he went up. <laughs> oh, why can't I get both those kills? Harsh. Funny old school drop, wasn't it? Um, Pan, lovely. This is where you always get killed from when you get complacent at school. So we need to be sensible here. I, I don't know how we've managed to survive and have two kills here after that terrible roof drop we did. Landed to nothing, down to 2 HP. Yeah, it's not a bad one, is it? I think our song is absolutely terrible. Yeah, I had a quick listen to some of it. I can't really recall it, but I remember thinking, just listen to a few seconds and be like, yep, this sounds like every other generic shit pop song that the UK turns out. So I guess it's quite fitting for Eurovision. Zone's a little way. They do a hot fix for meds on Erangel? No, they tweeted saying that they're aware that there's an issue with meds and they're going to do an update at some stage. They didn't say whether they were hot fixing or not. Not quite sure where this lad was. We've got a car though, so I might just go for a, a cruise. That MK skin makes the gun massive. Does it make it bigger than normal? I think it looks pretty cool. Please don't kill me. 
Oh, noob food's in my game. He just ran someone over. Nice. Jeez, noob. Oh, that was someone in... Uh, someone still in school. He's dead. Shot him in the face, didn't we? I'm not sure if he was fighting someone or just trying to like bait me back. I guess he was trying to bait me back. And a good for ammo. Thanks very much, sir. I'm gonna just shot that body. Okay, it's not bolty. Be bold! Ooh. Looks bigger. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, thank you for explaining Eurovision. It was a bit much for my brain to kind of wrap itself around <laughs> during, <laughs> during all that. I'm hoping Italy do well. Guarantee the French will sing in their own language and resemble the credit song from Hello Hello. Oh, what was it? Their last one was okay. It was just, I was talking about the other day. It's just very French. It's just very typically French sounding, wasn't it? There was a, like, I, we watched we watched back a bunch of them on YouTube the other day. Uh, Sean and I, which is always a great experience. Some of last year's ones and a few classic ones. And uh, the top comment on the French one was like, this is the Frenchest French that's ever French the French it was just like it is the most stereotypically French song you could probably imagine hearing oh we got with the last bullet beautiful the uh, Icelandic ones from a few years ago were pretty banging last year's Ukrainian one I thought was amazing I loved the Ukrainian one. Oh, I was like who's driving off in this buggy it's that guy's buggy this off on its own little adventure um, the Finland one I enjoyed, I think it was Finland. It was like, um, it was kind of Lincoln Parky sort of vibe. A couple of cars parked up here. Let's go see what's going on. Dark Slide, is that it? I think it's the Dark Slide. Please don't shoot me while I reload. Dark side, pretty dark side, not dark slide. That's like a Tony Hawk's move. I thought that dude was like aggressively pushing me, but he just wanted to change cars. Oh, hello. Is that a man? I think so. Nope, it's a bike. Wait for him to fire again and then we'll um get my car and move. Who is the country that had milk churners on stage? Uh, I can't recall. I gotta remember I got the wrong gun out for a drive by. There we go. Let's switch that. Oh, he just ran that poor, poor guy over. Lucky boy. I nearly fired all my ammo off. Where else do we kill someone? We get ammo. The uh, buggy guy, I guess. So it's probably a drive by. Really get through the ammo. What are you 
doing, you nutter? Oh, I'm going to get killed from the side, surely. Oh, did he shoot me underneath? Oh, I didn't think he'd have an angle. I thought I was nicely behind the tyre. Was that him? Who is him? Pretty unlucky there. We're on a bit of a tear. On a bit of a tear. Well, that's a nice stopping point. So I think we will leave it there for the day. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a giggle. Thanks to all the people subbing. Thanks, shout out to all the uh, Patreon supporters. You're absolute legends. Shout out to all the mods. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll be back on uh, Friday streaming on Twitch doing Patreon squads. Should be, uh, should be good fun. I will see some of you then. Have a lovely rest of your day. See you next time.